I'm gonna have to wrap these up don't know when but it's got to be soon maybe over this weekend final videos this hunger and my body shaking and not being able to stand up without feeling like I'm gonna pass out there just isn't any life left in me one thing I wish I could have done was contact the American Psychiatric Association for all the things I've studied in my life and there's so many my whole life I've always had a dozen projects going at the same time and another dozen on the back burner anything that interests me I study the daylights out of it and try to master it so I've seen a lot over 56 years but one thing I've never seen and it may be out there but I've never seen it is one person who has had this many layers of trauma and terror and torture put on them at the same time and this is worthy of study I wish I was gonna live I wish I had the energy I wish I had the money I wish I could study it how much can one person take when they have no way out religious prohibition against suicide they have to just sit and take it and die over the better part of a year a horrifying slow death and there's not even a reason for it except because a couple of low-class people are ruled by hatred I got fired for no reason at all. I was one of their best, if not the best employee. End of story. I did nothing wrong with the backstabber. I did everything right. And I was very conscientious about doing that, just like I am with my work. She did everything wrong. She didn't show a kind heart, ever. She didn't show adulthood. Meanwhile, all those co-workers who are lazy and they don't show up to work and they just run around the room instead of working, they avoid calls, which is the point of a call center. I'm told you can't, can't get them fired. Been trying for years. But I get fired when I didn't do anything wrong. And I was probably their best employee. So there's so many layers of trauma I've never I've never seen where anyone has to go through this closest to it again is the Holocaust being the target of mindless hatred and bigotry many people have suffered that obviously all over the world forever human slavery Jim Crow laws, all that stuff. But today, the only unprotected class that it's perfectly socially acceptable to persecute and perfectly legal to discriminate against are homeless people. And American Musical Supply saw the opportunity and thought, why not? Why not kill this guy? We can't be punished. We can go tell our friends for the rest of our lives. I caused the death of a human being. And I got away with it. There's nothing anyone can do about it. I found the loophole in the law. That's what these people at American Musicals play and the backstabber get to do for the rest of their lives. This brag about how they took another person's life. What a feather in their cap. Great people. How about being fired on March 15th, the Ides of March, the very day that Caesar was stabbed in the back by his colleagues and friends who he trusted. You have no idea how much that has weighed on my soul for six months. Not just daily, but throughout the day. 
These are people I would have give, given a kidney to save. Having no one in that office, the 70 people in there who I considered family, closest thing I had to family, I cared about them, I loved them, I liked them. Even the ones I, well, there weren't really any I didn't get along with. There were just a few who were a little shaky because they're the ones who didn't want to work and I make them look bad by working and asking them to work. But otherwise, I loved everyone there and yet knowing that none of those people went to bat for me. Nobody stood up for me when Human Resources 1200 miles away was doing this. Nobody said, this is unacceptable. This is absolutely, positively unacceptable. The group of people there did not threaten to go on strike. They didn't go outside with picket signs. And they didn't even organize into a union that I'm aware of. I don't know, I haven't communicated with them, but I'm pretty sure they haven't formed a union to protect themselves so that it never happens to them. Just another layer of trauma to weigh down on you. What about losing the 70 people who were the most important to me? The only people in my life, just like that, as quick as a gunshot, they're gone. And I never see them again. But since then, I've been in almost total social isolation in this car, except when I walk into a gas station and talk to the attendant. Knowing from day one that the eventual outcome was going to be horrific months of there's not even a word for it what am I supposed to say pain and suffering it, it goes so far beyond that what do you just say pain and suffering for those people who were in the Holocaust it, it's a little more than that I can't even swap flies I don't have enough energy and then eventually just losing everything that you've worked your whole life for and then dying a slow horrifying death and I knew that from day one and that's what I have to look at headed my way every single day another layer of trauma knowing that I was gonna lose everything to remember my family by it I worked so hard to make sure I could pay that more than thirty thousand dollars to maintain that storage when I first became homeless I did whatever it took to make that legal to, to make that payment it was all for nothing, thanks to American Musical Supply, the company I worked for for seven years, who just threw me down the toilet, threw their pest and play down the toilet. How can these people keep their jobs? If I, if I owned a company and my HR department did that to me, did that to my family, showed so little regard for me that they just, just out of bile-spitting hatred like the Ku Klux Klan, they fire my best employee because they have some personal problem. I, I wouldn't just fire them, I'd be filing lawsuits against them for, for trying to destroy my company. I, I just don't understand this. I can't wrap my head around it. Losing all privacy, another layer of trauma, no privacy, nothing. Just a zoo animal on display 24 seven. No showers, no hygiene. Lost, what, two, three teeth, no health insurance, no nutritious food, nothing but malnutrition for six months. Sitting in a seated position as if I was confined to a wheelchair for six months. Losing all the credibility and dignity that that job of seven years gave me, that I worked for honestly and hard for seven years. I had earned that credibility and dignity. And these low-class people who won't even reveal their own names just stole that from me. Like any other cheap thief. I'm unable to help anyone else anymore. That defining characteristic of who I am as a person. Helping other people. Instantly, that's gone. The ability to do that. Instantly seeing an end to every project I've worked on. I haven't been able to work on any projects in six months. I haven't played guitar in six months. Except for the little snippets you see in these videos, I haven't been able to play guitar at all. It doesn't even fit in the car. Just layer after layer after layer after layer of trauma and torture and torment. 
being subjected to this indignity of being watched and stared at, gawked at, filmed, mocked, humiliated by all these people around me who, in the very act of doing that, are demonstrating that I'm a better person than they are. That's the irony of all this and nobody gets it. Nobody gets it. And I have to sit there and deal with that layer of trauma 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Having to go through the pointless humiliation of approaching social services again. Social services, who did nothing for me the first two years I was homeless and once again over the last six months, <clears throat> losing everything I just spent seven years at AMS working to acquire. All the things I went out and found on my days off at these thrift shops, garage sales, everything, and my employee discount. All the things I worked for, gone. So it's as, it just renders the entire seven years I spent at AMS pointless. Losing everything I'd spent the last 18 years in Minnesota working to acquire one item at a time over thousands of hours probably. Being subjected to this loud and violent noise around me. It sounds like gunfire with these farting, backfiring cars and motorcycles. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That was, that's what was so brutal. That's what cost me my home in the first place. That loud, violent noise shaking the building. That low rumbling that just ruins your insides in my home. So that I was terrified to go to my own home. And I, here I am having to deal with it 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, again, because I no longer have that safe place. So what do I do with that? I make an opportunity. I create the meditative drones. And I spend the last 10 years developing that into a product that I was going to launch right about now, gone forever, thanks to American Musical Supply, who claims to care anything about musicians and people who work with audio. The sheer terror of every single day not knowing if this car is going to make it, if, it's, if today's the day it's going to finally die. Just absolute terror. The terror of not knowing whether I'm going to be attacked or hijacked or someone's just going to suddenly show up here and try to open my door like you saw in that video. And look at that, my doors aren't even locked. The torture of losing your health when you've been the healthiest person you know for 56 years. I never get sick. I haven't been to a doctor in 30 years. I never used my health insurance, ever. I paid for it. I never used it. And now, I'm just losing my health. I feel the life draining out of me. I don't have any life in me anymore. Just layer after layer of trauma. And for all this, knowing that the perpetrators of this are among the worst people who have ever existed on this planet, which now has 8 billion people and probably previously had about 100 billion people in it, you can't get lower than these people are for what they did to me. This is the definition of an unprovoked attack, a hate crime. These people are 1,200 miles away. I didn't even work with them. I don't know who they are. I don't know their names. The people I worked with loved me, and I love them. So why aren't I still there? I should be there working with them right now. I should have been there the last five hours. I should be there for another five hours. These people did the same thing to me that someone does when you're walking down the street and they just walk up and <coughs> instantly my life is over. The difference is that I end up in the trauma ward for the next six months or more suffering in absolute agony from that gunshot. My life was taken away six months ago. I've accomplished nothing with my life since then except for these videos which I never wanted to make. This is not something I wanted to spend my time on. That is American Musical Supply's fault. And for all that, the perpetrators can't even tell me why they did it. They can't even tell me their names. And the reason is because they can't come out and openly admit we're just low class, mindless, low life haters. We just hate people. That's what we do. We hurt other people when we can get away with it, since only the company's going to pay the price. We hurt them, and then we go home and we feel really cool and tough and powerful. And then we maybe kick the dog or something. Just the worst people who have ever lived did this to me. When O.J. Simpson killed Ron, Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman, he was found not guilty in court. The justice system failed. 
Ron Goldman's father spent the rest of OJ's life, and he only just died earlier this year. Ron Goldman's father spent the rest of his life hounding him, running him through civil court, a $33 million judgment, and Ronald Goldman died within a couple of minutes, a horrific, painful death, admittedly. But after a few minutes, his pain was over. I have suffered for six months, and I don't know how much more I have to go. Not much. It has been layer after layer after layer of trauma, torture, and terror, and loss, and misery, and suffering. I should be able to sue American Musical Supply for a billion freaking dollars. But how am I going to do that when nobody cares? Three, four weeks ago, I emailed someone in the Minnesota Bar Association. Anytime I've ever contacted the Bar Association, the sum total responses I've gotten from them are zero. That's Minnesota's idea of a professional. So I contacted the person who coordinates their mock trials, and I asked them, do you have a location I can record a closing argument for this? A courtroom with a jury box where I can go in for a few hours and record a closing argument that puts all these videos together so that there's at least one video that people can go to and get the gist of what's going on here. And I spent a lot of time studying closing arguments so I could do it right. They didn't even respond. They didn't even show the courtesy of responding. So Minnesota professionals are batting a thousand for being unprofessional. And I am so weak and I am so dizzy and I'm shaking. I am down to four ounces of food every day. Tops. Some days I don't get any. I've got it parceled out four ounces of food a day. So I've got to wrap this up in the next several days. I'm going to leave you with three minutes of listening to the noisy cars. Last night, 8 p.m. on a Thursday, I set up the microphone on my hood, so there's a bit of wind noise. For that 20 minutes recording, I edited it down to three minutes. The first part's kind of noisy, the second part's not as noisy because it got quiet as the bulk of traffic went down. 8 p.m. on a Thursday. All my life until I was here in Minnesota, 8 p.m. Thursday is just calm. Everyone's done with work, they've eaten their meals. It's just a calm, beautiful time. Peaceful, the sun's going down. Nope, not here in Burnsville. Nothing but the sound of gunfire. Bam, 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 these farting, backfiring cars all around me. What you're gonna hear in those three minutes are the loudest of the loud of 20 minutes. I have to hear this 24 hours a day and that microphone only points forward barely captures about 30 degrees side to side you're not hearing what I hear 360 degrees including those jet planes above so I'll leave you with that <sighs>